personal level, you've had to settle for a Saxon's place instead of an England place. Is that any compromise for you? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's great to be involved with whatever the setup is. Um, you know, I'm just happy playing at Sale at the moment, and if whatever else happens outside of that is, is a bonus. But, you know, we just keep got to keep trying working hard here and, and get Sale back to where we were a couple of years ago near the top of the league. But having got your sort of feet into the England camp, as it were, I mean, were you expecting to at least have been considered for, for a call up? I might have been considered, I don't know. Um, you know, it's a long Six Nations, you know. I mean, I wish the team all the best, and it's good to have plenty of guys from Sale being involved, you know, Wiggy for the first time, you know, all the best. Hope he gets, hope he gets his chance because he deserves it. So it's great that we've got people in there. You've got youth on your side, there's still time you're still expecting, and you're going to knock on that door, and, and that door's going to be open for you. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm not closing any books, I'm sure. You know, if, if I put my mind to it and, and keep working hard, then, you know, maybe in the future there might be other chances, but, you know. At the moment, it seems that they're going the other way, and I just got to keep working hard. A little bit about the Saxons. I guess there's some guys, some mates of yours in the pack. I mean, Jones and, and Cox, who can consider themselves unlucky not to be in the Saxons as well. Definitely. Um, you know, they're both had a, having great times this year. Cox has come, come forward and, and done really well. Scoey as well, I think, is another one who's unfortunate to miss out. He had a, he had a great game on, down in France. So, you know, there's a, there's, there's a few people out there, but it shows how competitive it is, and that's, that's good for England. That England Six Nations squad. It's a new look squad. How can they cope without the the likes of Robbo and Cat and and some big names, Delali or some guys in the pack and Corey? I mean, are they ready for the competition against the likes of France and Ireland? I'm sure we'll find that out uh, in due course. Um, they're going to have to find a way to do it, and um, if they don't, you know, then maybe they'll bring other people in. But I mean, there's there's top quality players in there, and I'm sure you know they'll, they'll, the coach will get them ready, and, and you know they'll be up for the challenge, and, and the other guys will step forward and. And move into these roles that these sort of senior players have left. So it'll be interesting to find out who really steps forward and, and takes control. For you on an international level, all you can keep doing is playing your Premiership rugby week in, week out, getting noticed, and eventually Ashton. I mean, that's all you can do, isn't it, on, on your level? Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly right. I mean, you can't worry about being picked there or not being picked there because it's out of your control. If you can just focus on your own game, keep working hard, that's, that's all you can do. And hopefully, you know, something will happen on the back of it.